Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. First of all, we start with the weekly chart. I had a few questions, few people asked me if I have a weekly chart for Solana. Of course, here it is. Um, haven't shown it for a while because to be fair, not too much action there and not many changes, but I know there are many new viewers here on the channel. So yeah, let's take a look at the um, at the weekly chart here. So um, overall, Solana, in my opinion, has created here a first larger impulsive wave into November 21. And since then has started a sell off in a W, X, Y pattern in a wave two that would be down here. Yeah. So this was the wave one, this here, the wave two of this entire impulse, this larger cycle, the key, the absolute key support level is the $30 level. That is the 88.7% FIP level of the larger cycle. Um, you can see also now why the $30 level or $30.50 level is so relevant. Yeah, Solana has come back to support here various times. And this generally between the 88.7 and the 78.6% FIP level, that's normally the area where you would reasonably assume such a wave two to end. Now we can we know that many cryptos dropped below the 88.7% FIP level, not only this year, but also in previous bear markets. So it's not a disaster, but generally for any asset, any asset that drops for a longer period below that level, not great, okay? It's just not good for the market sentiment, but this is a key, um, key support level here. And ideally we don't break below that level Again, it wouldn't be good for the chart, but of course I can't rule it out. And to be fair, the price stru structure at the moment suggests that we will see at least in the short term, one more dip below that level. Um, but you know, we, we don't need to. By coming down so much, we have fulfilled all the requirements to complete this correction, which doesn't mean the correction must be over, but it means it can be over at any moment in time. Now in this wave two, we've got a WXY pattern. WXY is a more complex correction, consists of ABC, ABC to the downside. So this means uh, we are now in the wave Y. Yeah, that is what you would assume. And in the Y wave, we then have various sub waves as well. Um, so there you go. This to wave X, yeah, coming down in wave Y, which, and I go to the daily chart for that. Make it a bit clearer. And then you can see that of this, this wave Y, at the moment, at least on this chart, ended here at the low in June. So if we assume that this wave Y ended in June, then we can see this chart is bullish. We could say that the move up was a leading diagonal. The, the move from the 15th of June to the upside here around $47, $48 was a wave one, a leading diagonal. You have a lot of overlaps here, not great generally um, for a bullish scenario because it's quite unreliable, this pattern, and that we then came down in a wave two and we're now moving up in a wave three. So this is the bullish scenario. Again, few problems with that. A leading diagonal is generally not a reliable pattern and the wave two came out quite a lot. Not too much, uh, not too much. But the problem that I have is that this wave two of the wave three. So if we assume this was a one, this a two, we would now be in the three. The wave three has obviously sub waves as well. And that the one, two setup, or basically the wave two of the wave three, that came down quite a lot and that basically retraced 99% of the length of wave one. And that is never good. That's not a bullish pattern, um, even though it doesn't invalidate the bullish pattern, but it's a reason for concern. Okay. So this is what I just want to communicate here. This is not a very clearly, uh, or let's say not a very highly reliable bullish pattern. Of course it can work out and it is still a one, two pattern one of the best patterns you get an Elliott wave. But to let this play out, we need to hold the $30 level now. Otherwise you would invalidate this impulse that has formed. If we drop below $30, I think then because we lose the main support before the June low, then we're going to see the blue count play out here in blue that we say um, that we peaked here at $48 and then came down in an impulsive wave one 
moving up in two and we're now in the wave three to the downside here. So overall downside targets, I would say if we make a new low, it would first of all, we definitely find a lot of support in the region between 19 and $22. Um, and then we need to see how we react to that level. Um, generally, if we say that this was a wave one, which came down here, this here was already a wave two at around $38, then yeah, then we generally look at lower prices. And if we talk about maybe even the 1.618 extension, then we talk about $9. Now, how realistic is that? I see this only happen in a very extreme case, not necessarily now. Um, and uh, generally to let the bullish scenario play out, we to get more confidence in that, we need to break above the $39 level, yeah, this level here. And we already will gain more confidence into this as soon as we go above $37. That is the 78.6% FIB level of this move to the downside. And that is always a level that if we go above that, it would sort of mean it's probably not a bearish pattern, it's rather a bullish pattern. So this is where we are currently here with Solana. So we're still sitting here um, between two scenarios. Um, we have pulled back to key support. We're now moving away from it. So the support did hold so far at $30, but now Solana needs to deliver, the bulls need to deliver and need to break above this 37 and then $39 level. Very important, we are now here just below the 50 day moving average that is at $35. So I wouldn't be surprised if we find serious resistance there. We did that here as well on the 27th of September found serious resistance at exactly this moving average. So keep an eye on that. We're just below resistance with that exact level. Okay, and that's my update about Solana. Hopefully you like the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.